an alarming discovery at our state's lone nuclear site. Leaking single shell tanks at the Hanford site. And tonight, concerned not only about what we know, but what we don't. The public really deserves to know exactly what's happening. From lawmakers to public interest advocates to the governor himself, the calls for action are ringing loud and clear. The big questions tonight, what happens next at Hanford and what kind of long-term impact could this toxic leak have? Come for us, John Humbert has been gathering a reaction to the story for us tonight. He's live in the Satellite Center with what he's learned. John? Well, good evening tonight, guys. Pol uh, people rather that we spoke to tonight say that they've had a lot of concerns for years and now it's setting the stage for a showdown between Washington State and Washington, D.C. I, I got to tell you, you couldn't find a more perfect radioactive storm. Governor Jay Inslee took the feds to task for the hundreds of gallons of radioactive sludge leaking at the Hanford nuclear facility. And the fact that, uh, you know, we've experienced leaks before should not, in my view, be any excuse or license to get out of jail for the federal government. The federal government says there is no immediate threat to people from the leaking tank, and experts say the sludge may not make it to the Columbia River. That's little comfort for longtime critics. And this isn't the only issue at Hanford where we've got the potential for literally a catastrophic event happening. Jerry Paulette is an environmentalist with Heart of America Northwest. He's also a state representative. He's calling for more regulation and possibly new laws to continue contain Hanford's 177 tanks for action by the federal government. We need to have the planning underway for new tanks. Others are concerned the leaks are signs of trouble to come. You can't take it back. Once the radioactive waste is there, it's there. From 1986, legislators call for session on nuclear dump. Michaela Preskill with Wash Perg says that years of initiatives and public outcry still haven't stopped environmental damage. We anticipated it. She says this is a wake-up call. Um, you know, we've yet to see that we can store nuclear waste safely and properly. As for Paulette, he's going to keep pushing the state to apply pressure on Washington, D.C., he says too much is at risk, and there are still too many questions. We don't know what will happen here. Governor Inslee made it very clear that the federal government needs to step up and fully explain what happened and also how to fix it. He's willing to go to court to get that done. There's also little progress in D.C. for budgeting for this cleanup. That could also hamper any solution at all. Live in the Satellite Center, John Humbert. Come for news. Thank you very much, John. The story will continue to evolve over the next few weeks as we learn more information. We'll follow it every step of the way on Como 4 News, on Como News Radio, and online at comonews.org.